topic here is conformity in a silent generation. This screencast is similar to another one that is uploaded already. However, the difference here, this one will not use any uh, music copyrighted information that YouTube could possibly flag. So this group was pretty much asked to look at uh, generations and uh, not that they were asked to really do much with this particular slide, but this comes from the book Generations by Strauss and Howe. Strauss and Howe put together a, uh, um, a, a theory on history in the United States and why certain things are happening. And they look at a generation life cycle. Um, in this case, we're looking at the millennial cycle that consists of these generations here. This book was written in the 90s. So the idea of a Gen Z did not exist at this particular point. So he looks at a generation life cycle consisting of about 80 years. Uh, each generation born within a 20 year span of time. So, uh, you know, we're looking at the, I'll start here. It's my generation. They argue it's 61 to 81. So then we would have the boom generation born 41 to about 61 there, and then so on, 81 to 01 for millennials. Then we'll take 01 to, you know, about 2021. 20, anyway, uh, so when you're looking at their, their, uh, their theory, they're arguing that each generation, uh, life, each generation life cycle deals with the secular crisis, spiritual awakening. So the spiritual awakening is just that. It is a situation more like a renaissance, a changing of thought. And so for the boomers, they're dealing with the civil rights movement. And the millennials, they are going to possibly be, if they are correct, dealing with a lot of civic change. So when he looks at this generation life cycle, I'm just going to put these numbers here. You know, when you look at all of their generation uh, life cycles that they present, civil war, um, depression, all of these events that are significant in American uh, history, and argue that the ones and the threes play crucial roles in sur you know, resolving whatever the crisis might be, secular crisis or spiritual awakening. And then uh, the twos and the fours provide like the artistic, um, you know, there are the critics, and so on and as a result of their work they inspire the next generation or they would inspire like the next one so whatever the millennial whatever comes after the millennial cycle uh, we will see the work of gen z and the 13ers playing a role through their criticism uh, that will create a new understanding in the next generation where they'll probably start looking at society uh, based on this expression here and then as a result of that maybe they start painting stuff maybe they come up with new music whatever it is that they do it's a lot more involved than that i'm just trying to go a little fast here we already addressed uh this particular life cycle that they're looking at the millennial and i just did a search um for some of the items that might be uh things that indicate you know we have a cell phone over here let me see the elderly population, which if you're alive in 2020 and you know, you're in your 70s, you're a baby boomer. All right. So students were asked to come up with a chart that looks somewhat like this. And they were asked to kind of track the events. So you see the events right here that the uh, generation is you know, experiencing. Notice how they have the silent generation, which is not part of this millennial generation that we've talked about would have the millennials and the Z's. This would be a different generational life cycle that they're looking at here. And that generational life cycle would be dealing with the Depression, uh, World War II, and you know World War One. that particular uh, generation. So with every generation, you have uh, music. And you can't talk about the baby boomers without looking at the birth of rock and roll. And uh, if you've ever heard the song uh, American Pie, Don McLean. Uh, this song apparently is about the tragic death of these three rock and roll artists, Buddy Holly, Richie Bounds, and the Big Bopper. They died in a plane crash, and as a result, um, you know, there's a lot of mourning going on about this uh, loss of life. And then the song, you know, feel free to look this up and listen to it. 
is pretty much what he's arguing. You know, the day that the music died as a result of the music that these individuals created and possibly inspired and, you know, created memories for an entire generation of boomers. The issue here is that every generation has its own. Um, and so I've taken some from the uh, boomers where they probably, uh, Buddy Holly and Peggy Sue, Buddy Holly would perish in that crash. Um, here we're looking at uh, the group Nirvana, uh, which comes up with grunge music um, in the 90s. Their song Smells Like Team Spirit, which put them uh, in a situation where they went mainstream. Kurt Cobain would later commit suicide. And uh, one thing you have to know about generations, uh, usually the generation before doesn't like the generation after. So we'll put here Millennials, Z, uh, the Xers, and the Baby Boomers here. As I said, I'm a member of this generation. And so I would say that I'm not a fan of their music. I actually don't mind their music. When I was growing up, Baby Boomers made it a point to indoctrinate future generations with their music. It was just all over media. And you probably see that present day where you see a lot of influence of Gen X of 1980s and 70s pop culture finding its way into entertainment. Anyway, uh, so I challenge you to look up this particular song here, click the link and take a listen to it. Uh, should interest you. Um, I don't know, but uh, definitely a good example of the crap music that comes out of this generation and a tail end of this generation right here. So uh, I encourage you to take a listen to that. Generation summary. How the generation of the baby boomers grew up. You know, I already addressed some of the, the rock and roll changes, the civil rights movement, some of those significant events. And that generations change and they will be heavily influenced by the the music, the entertainment, as well as the significant events that shaped that particular generation.